Hey guys, so I don't know how well you can see it, and I'm trying to get a really good view, but that is a charged creeper. I wasn't recording, I was just walking along, and this happened. It's like plow with the lightning, and I thought that was going to be so much more exciting. Like, I was pumping myself up for a battle with a charged creeper. Oh well. So yeah, I, this is, um, several days later from the Charge Creeper. Like, I haven't really been doing that much, but, well, I've been doing a lot, but in any case, um, yeah, Charge Creepers apparently, they get, a regular Creeper gets hit by lightning, and then the Charge Creeper happens, and it's quite impressive, I must say. So, I finished my bookshelves, by the way. Like, that's really what I've been concentrating on, and an obscene amount of level grinding. And an obscene amount of cows, too. <laughs> like, I'll show you guys how many cows I have once I finish my early morning cleanup. Goodbye. Nope, goodbye. No more of you. And I almost fell onto there because of lag. That would have been real fun. Yeah. This is the sea of cows. Get in there. I, I feel really bad for Dragon and for the donkey, who still does not have a name. Um, we'll probably get to naming the donkey in season two if we don't get it to, into, um, get to it in this season. So anyways, like I tried to English and I didn't do it very well. But yeah, we've got, uh, some things to do, some very important things, called enchanting. So I'm gonna put that in there, and we're gonna go like that. Unbreaking three is nice. We're gonna go with that one. I have no interest in Bane of, Bane of Arthropods, but that's, that's fine. So put those in. You might be able to hear my cat playing in the background. I'm very sorry. Blast protection, that's going on my chest plate. And trap is three and breaking. Sharp is three. <laughs> that was kind of a given. Okay, so those are the things that we have. We still do not have infinity on our bow, which is driving me up a wall. Infinity is like my most favorite enchantment. So sharpness three. So we've got that, and unbreaking I'm going to use on this because of reasons. So there we go. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm definitely, I was thinking to myself for a minute I should use it on the sword, but I've got unbreaking on the sword in, a, in, in different time and fashion. Um, I need to make some repairs as well. Okay, I can't put more protection on the chest plate, I think, but I'm gonna try it. You never know. Nope, it didn't work. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll do it on my leggings instead. Yeah, it's really hard to get protection on everything, but still, blast protection on leggings is really, really good, especially blast protection four. So, when we fight the wither, he's, or it, won't be able to do much to me. Okay, so that's nearly fully repaired. That's fantastic. Okay, so put that away. And yeah, we've got a lot of steak, too. I've, I've been eating a lot of it, but believe me, guys, we had more. There was more steak. There's a lot of cows, and I'm going to make more cows because of reasons. Excuse me. There's something about recording that makes a few things happen. It makes me sniffly, it makes me cough, it gives me hiccups, and it makes me burp. It makes a yawn, too. It's like all of a sudden I get everything in my body, like, moving around, and it's like, oh, she's recording, we gotta start moving things. It's like, stop it. Pick a different time. Yeah, so see, steak. <laughs> um... What do you think? Do you guys think I have enough steak? I mean, seriously. So steak. 
I, I did go around and kill a lot of the um, local cows too that are not here because of reasons. Oh, so there's one thing that I want to try to um, after I do some farming, which is what do you call it? Vanilla mods, because I'm not going to use regular mods because that's they're always a pain in the butt to install. Sometimes they don't work, they're buggy, they could potentially crash the game. I'm not losing my game, and even if I back up a save, I, I don't like to lose my game. But anyways, vanilla mods, and Idra Minecraft, whose channel I will have a link to in the description, he or she, I'm not sure if it's a guy or a girl, but he or she does some really incredible vanilla mods. And one of the ones that I want to use is called Lucky Blocks. And it's used with one command, so in order to get it to work, I do have to go into creative mode to give myself a command block, because command blocks don't work outside of creative mode. But this is something that can be used with survival afterward, and it's pretty darn awesome. So, like I said, after we finish the farming, we're going to do that. It will be barrels of fun. So if you saw at the beginning of the video that stay tuned for Lucky Black's Vanilla Mod. That's what that is. And gosh, this sea of cows is just... My gosh. Look at all this. This is a lot of cows. I mean, this is a lot of cows. What do you guys think? You think it got enough cows? If I could just get chickens. I guess I kind of don't need chickens, but... If I get infinity, but still. Okay, so I am going to get the mod started, and when we come back, we'll have that going. So I will see you guys momentarily. Okay, okay, so right now I am going to give myself the command block, and this is how to do it. And I'm pretty sure that the command block only works in creative mode. If I can avoid going into creative mode, I, I will. I also want to make a button that I can put on it, too. Nope. Can't click on it. I have to go into creative mode. Maybe I gotta stand closer. Nope. I don't know why I thought that was gonna do anything. <laughs> so, yeah, let me go into creative mode. And I will get this working. Okay, so that was a long process, but it's a command block that you paste in, and you just hit the button, and it's it's a long command. I mean, it's really long, and I cut because I was like, oh no. Oh, and this is like a fraction of how long this command is. So right-click this... Where, where am I? Oh my god. I didn't know it did that. All the research I did and I didn't know it did that. Um, so use those three items to do the lucky block, but, um, my pickaxe and my sword and my torches are on. Like, I don't care about my torches, but my pickaxe and my sword, so I need to fix that. Um, that's a problem. So after I fix that, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I fix it, and I I couldn't get the durabilities back to what they were, but things were repaired, so it kind of doesn't matter, but I did have to do kind of like a creative mode thingy in order to get my tools back. Um, so in the future, if we use more vanilla mods, I will remember to never, ever, ever do that. So that's an interesting way that we lost our tools again. And this mod has a tendency to throw you into peaceful mode, too, by the way, or easy mode, one or the other. So that's kind of one of those annoying things that I don't like. But anyways, where was the gold? 
I am going to do 16 of these. And you'll see why the gold, why we need it. The gold is very important, but you'll, you'll see. So I'm going to move very far away because apparently some of the things that the are made with, you know, the lucky blocks explode. <laughs> And I'm, I don't want anything to get blown up. So you put down the cauldron and you toss this on top of it and you get that. The paper, if you toss on it, makes you get your items back. So I'll put down the cauldron again and I'll toss this on it and... I didn't do anything. So it better not be like a one-time deal. It shouldn't be. Unless I'm not doing it right. I wonder, can I s stand on top of the cauldron? Will that do it? That does it, okay. So we just gotta remember that. And I love the particle effects too, that it's so pretty. So we throw that on, and you really have to do these one at a time. You can't, <clears throat> excuse me, you can't um, throw it all, throw like all of these on there and think that you'll get equal amount of spawnings because you won't. It'll just take all your gold. So yeah, you do have to do these one at a time. And I'm going to do all of this. So I'm sorry that it takes a moment, but I don't want to give up all my gold. I want to get equal bang for my equal buck. And that one. And then that one. So then I am going to put that there for right now and I want to have all of this on me because I don't know what these things do like all I know is that they explode things and that's about it so let me put that on that and that will get me my stuff back and good to go so I just gotta remember with Idra Minecraft's mods that don't put anything in your hot bar <laughs> when you use these because scary things happen so we're gonna break it and oh my god is that the elder guardian well it's called big fish but this is wow my sword wrecked the elder guardian i gotta remember that for when we actually tackle the real elder guardian in like the real setting um Hey, a diamond helmet that I already have. <laughs> um, that's nice, though. A dirt block. So apparently there's like 60 different combinations of things that you can get with these lucky blocks. So this is like going to entertain us for a while. And after I do... Oh, oh my god. Baba Yaga. That's funny. It's probably a little racist, too, in some way. I'm not sure how, but... Yay, we got redstone from a witch. So nice. Uh, what is this? Hey, now that... is useful. That's four stacks... of... wood right there. Oh, that was experience. Hey, that's cool. I like that. I want that more often. What is... Hello? What is where? Where is it? Oh, you had better not go into my house. Don't you kill my cows. What the hell is this? I don't have the equipment for this. I don't want to fight the wither right now. And we're not supposed to do this until, um... Like, this is a Jenny Wither battle right here, even though it's named Surprise. We we can't do this right now. We don't have the equipment, and also, um, it's not Season 2, it's Season 1. It's supposed to be at the end of Season 2. With, like, us getting, oh, I don't know, those... Oh my god, this is gonna get me killed. These... Um, Wither Skulls and everything? Okay, let me lead it... Oh, stop it for, like, two seconds, dude. Let me lead it away from my home. 
I mean, if I can defeat it, great. If I can't, I'm going into peaceful mode. And the reason I'm going into peaceful mode is because this is, even though this is a vanilla mod, it's, I don't know. I'm, I don't think I'm okay with it spawning a wither. I think that's too much. There, there's something about that that's just like, huh. I probably should have done better research, but... Like, I don't know if the wither's gonna kill me, but the wither's definitely going to cause problems. Let me see if I can really kick his... Oh my god, dude, for like two seconds. Okay, for two seconds. Calm it down. Yeah, you're really supposed to fight the wither with like a proper bow. And not that. So let me get out of peaceful mode. And let me spew out all of these. Like, I, I don't want all that sand. Or that. That was... That was a no. <laughs> um, I should have mentioned, I meant, I meant to mention that, like, lucky blocks were off-limit from the Nuzlocke challenge, and I don't think I... And I completely forgot to mention that, and I... Apologize. Um, I was, I'm, I'm going to be smart and I'm going to put it in the beginning of the video just so that people know ahead of time. But yeah, we're back in normal mode now. So I don't have a penalty for going into peaceful mode. I'm just not allowed to do it. So, um, guys, I'm just mad at that cow. But I'm going to act very much um ask you to please come up with a penalty for that or you know for future challenges what should my penalty be that's even better so let me eat. we're gonna go back to lucky blocks because this is actually a lot of fun and i like doing this but yeah and please no more surprises like i don't know um how often some things happen versus others. If a surprise shows up right here, I'm going to be mad. Hey, more wood. Okay, then. For building my house, that's going to help me out a lot, because that's the kind of wood I'm planning to use. I love you. I do Minecraft, I love you. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I could make a whole bunch of those, but it's still really cool. More wood. Okay, this is a really common lucky block prize. Um, this is a thing that can happen. How much does it take to kill this guy? This is, wow. He's not attacking me, which is good, but... Well, it takes a lot to kill this guy. Um, experience. Okay. That was mildly frightening. So, for season one, that was the mid-season boss battle. <laughs> okay. I didn't need that, but that's very nice. In case for some reason mine gets blown up, I guess. I have, like, thousands of those, but thank you. I think this would have been better in, like, the beginning of the season. Also would have given me probably a very unfair advantage, and there's another one. And this is the last one in play- Whoa! Okay, I have ten golden apples now. I think I'm gonna go insane. So, for the wither, that's gonna be great. Like, for the ender dragon, I don't need to bring a golden apple with me. I really just need infinity. And a power bow. Preferably power three or more. And I might have to do multiple enchantments to get that, but I will get it. That's just all there is to it. So, yeah. That's some um, incredible loot that we've got right there. I mean, look at that. That is great. And now we've got a wet sponge, which is kind of cool, because in the future, when we fight the Elder Guardian for real, we'll have another wet sponge. And another piece of fish. Because, hey, why not? So, I am going to put all of that in there. 
and do have that in there. And I don't have anywhere to put that or that. I'll put that in there. Um, so yeah, what you do is you actually smelt the wet sponge to get the water out of it. And then you can use it to soak up water, which I'll actually show you guys how that works because it's pretty awesome. So we can do our little thing with that. And it wasn't until 1.8 that we could actually get the wet, get the sponge block in survival mode. You could only get that in creative mode. It was kind of one of those very unused blocks anyways in creative mode. So I think I, I like having it be useful here. Oh, how convenient, a thing of water. So it removes like I think a 3x3 three three area of water, so let me do it right in the middle so you guys can see. Okay, it removes a lot more than that. <laughs> um, Alright then. Relative to the size of the sponge, that's way more water than it should be able to remove, but... Alright then. That's... This is a great tool. I don't know what I'm going to need it for, but it's a great tool. So, one thing that I want to mention to you guys too is that today I have a vlog going up this afternoon instead of Sims 4. On occasion, Sims 4 will crash on my computer and I hadn't saved, so I had, def I had gotten the aspiration completed and it didn't work. So. That did get saved, so I have to go back and I have to fix things. But anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. So I will see you guys next time. Your support of this series is greatly appreciated. To help keep this Let's Play alive, go ahead and click anywhere on the screen to watch the next episode.